Sounds like they just put the pan over and mm. lifted it again. Yeah. I've just got the camera rolling. <coughs> I think they just said you know, they put it on, which is okay. Yeah, that's what happened. They put it on mm. and left it at that. No, that's all right. Yeah, that's all right because they put it across. Well, I've got it on the camera anyway, a bit of it. I'll just turn the camera off. Ah, um, oh. uh, we we just heard the announcement that they have put the hui here, Taheke Marae on the radio, Totoko and Mangamuka. So that I'm pleased with that because they did run it and rather than me go on radio. Um, uh, thank you Radio Totoko for doing that for us. Uh, with me and uh, 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 Morris Baker and uh, Manahi uh, Parapara Mohini um, are running the hui here. Um, and uh, I've got video of what we are talking about and the agenda for um, Morris to follow. <coughs> He's in charge of the hui uh, with his tomata set up in this fashion. Uh, so um, today is uh, 17th of uh, November 2017 and it's now nine o'clock. So they put the notice on that I rang in for. They said I'll go on the radio, but they've uh, elected to do that. That's fine. Uh, but um, uh, we'll be at Pofiti at 5 o'clock uh, at Taiga Marae, that's um, west of uh, Kaikaui, uh, and uh, about three quarters of an hour from Kawakawa Junction, turn off to Pahia, come out towards Dargaville, and it's not too far from Kaikaui, <coughs> in the Hokianga. So, uh, that's all I want to say with this video, other than to say I'll just quickly run over what, what it is on this video, what the who is for today, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so we got, we got the who is for Hori Tikuri uh, and um, Taheke Marae, Native Court, an original Native Court. Uh, the Native Title Deeds of Hori Tikuri uh, and the Memorials to Hori on this land block that I'm sitting here and sleeping on in the Ratana church. This house is the Ratana church with him and his memorial buried here behind me. So I'll go and identify that afterwards and put that on um, um, Morris's um, native title and we'll take that to the Hui today at five o'clock. Uh, the, um, it should by um, the, the way uh, the marae will be run <coughs> it's at five o'clock pofiri and we're expecting um, the taumata um, that for this British title uh, first this is a first ever in Napui area to be conducted this way apart from uh, up at uh, Tehiku Te Ika but we're talking the original tupuna here one chief whole block of land um, and so that's uh, T.W. Uh, Ratana, this church here with its haki, <coughs> that's acknowledged uh, of the church in those times before uh, it was the um, Methodist church and it went into the Ratana church after that with that history of Huri at the time and the native court running here uh, with the um, uh, agents, the crown agents at that time, uh, the um, Rogans were one of them, uh, with the Reparative for Manukau title in Auckland. So we're linking those together. The British Crown Agent and one Chief title. Uh, the British King William IV Crown Land Patents is what Morris is in this book. He's got a 
copy of this, not in depth, but in his own title, <coughs> with this marae. So we're putting the um, original title back where it was and seize the lands with the writ warrant. This is a writ warrant to take the land back from the Queen's Bench Court into the King's Bench Court where it came from in the first place. So we're going direct to Westminster with this authority and his title and the Reopen of the title and the Te Ra Waikato Wharehere of the Manukau uh, Moriori title and his um, um, Te Kuri, Huri Te Kuri title as being one of the two chiefs. The Admiralty flag that we're doing, the 1834, is a private contract between 1820 and 1834, that flag was for this contract with those chiefs, those three chiefs and including um, Huri Te Kuri, those of that era time period. We're linking those together. But the British King gave the flag to these paramount chiefs. He did not give it to the Whakaminia or the um, <coughs> or, or the Maori government or any other iwi Maori. He gave it to these chiefs in this time period, 1820 to 1834 period. Between that as one contract, one contract transferred of title from native chief. Moriori, Manukau, to King George IV, 1820-1830, and then that transferred to Rewharewha Manukau and King William IV in 1830 to 1837 period. That's this title we're talking about on Morris's land, and we only do his land first. We only do his land first because he has the memorial to go with it, and the Morai to go with it in a magistrate court setting native title. Okay, you got that? <coughs> we use King George's jurisdiction of a contract um, that that dates his title back to the origins of when we ask whose authority have you got with your title, then you're going to end up with these kings because there's no other title to go to. And as far as I'm concerned, Bundy and Hedewini have jumped onto the 1834 title of King William, but that's as far as they go. They can't go back to where that authority came from. When we ask, who did you go, get your authority from? Bundy says, from King William IV. So who did he get his authority from? They can't go any further back from there. So that's what I'm saying, to identify the title of origin. And Referefa Manikau took the Waikato title <coughs> into <coughs> those 13 chiefs that he was part of and signed documents but it was already a done deal the land was already sold by his predecessor Te in 1820 with King George that's what I'm saying with this flag we're flying the flag with that jurisdiction not one made up later so I'm sorry Bundy but <coughs> as far as you're concerned with the flag you can't stitch it up to where it got its authority from further than that. Okay, so that's the difference. And Mani will speak in Māori to translate what I'm saying into Māori on that title to put ourselves um, Morris, Baker, Manahi, Parapara Mohini, the Moriori, and myself, the Maui Crown, King William the Fourth. <coughs> Uh, sheriff and court land commissioner, native, okay, to put this, have the authority to speak for the king in his absence as a contract until the next king is chosen, King Ernest Augustus V, the bloodline of King William IV, okay? Nobody else, not Prince William because he's a Spanish, he's not Dutch. Our kings are Dutch. And William is not Dutch. That's the difference between the flag they're flying. For Titi Marai, they're hoping that William is going to be the king. No, there's already a king. The king of Britain, UK, Hanover, 
and New Zealand and Pacific Islands and the Commonwealth countries of the world is King Ernest Augustus V. He's already the king. And you can't get another king. That's the problem that the Queen is having at the moment, abdicating to somebody when there's a king already. She has to stay with her queens, and that's the end of that. <coughs> We're on number 15 now. Edinburgh Magistrate Court is a bank. The Magistrate Court, this is a bank. These instructions and this is a Magistrate Court bank, portable, that can go anywhere in the world with this mobile phone. Right here. This and this connects the whole world up with that flag, with this flag here. And Morris and his title is no different to what I'm doing already in Britain. They're waiting for us in Britain with this flag to take it there <coughs> to the native here. Um, the land, where did I get to? The British king gave the flag to these paramount chiefs. They, did, they didn't give it to, he didn't give it to anybody else. They gave it to King George jurisdiction of a contract. It's a contract. The effort of Manukau took the Waikato's title <coughs> and transferred it from Tina Waikato's contract and sold, that sold New Zealand country title to the UK, Edinburgh Magistrate Court Bank. The big block deeds is to one chief, and that's what we're talking about in these titles. That Morris has. <coughs> the land fair transfer to the British King from these paramount chiefs. And Hori Tikuri was one of them that did the same thing. The Queen's titles is an iwi Maori, no seals of Westminster. They're using TPPA for their titles, and that's not going to work in this court. 19, Tahiki Marae is the native court. That's an original native court. 20, the king's title belongs to the hapu and the whanau, not the iwi and the crown. They got the queen's title, queen's title, iwi Maori, king's title, hapu and the whanau, in the chiefs. That's that. That's what we're talking about here, not here, here. Bundy talks here. We talk here. 21, the Maori crown, King William for trust is what we're running. <coughs> Straight to Britain, Westminster, on this marae, Taake marae. The seal of the Moai Crown King William IV Trust is right here on the front of this deeds title receipt of a sale and purchase agreement in real estate is right here. Okay, that's that's a contract. That's what I'm talking about. Morris, that's a contract. <coughs> um, the Admiralty flag is a private contract. The Admiralty flag, 1834, connects the 1820 and the 1830 King George IV title transferred from Te Waikato to Reverend Manukau and King William IV, the flag, right here, belongs to those chiefs. On the 15th of March 1834, for their private contract, and at the moment, Morris has a private contract, nobody's business. It's, it's got the same title running on this land where I'm sitting here with him. Okay, just for the record, for the record, in Westminster, Magistrate Court and Edinburgh Magistrate Court, we now have identification of who we are today on this marae and tomorrow. Sign, we sign in contract tomorrow, we sign in contract the financial side of the Moai Crown Bank as judgment creditor. That marae is a judgment creditor. A judgment debtor is Titi Marae. I'm making this statement right to you people on that marae in the Iwi Maori and the Waitangi National Trust, you are a debtor, judgment debtor, in this magistrate court. Okay? That's why you get the bill. Anybody who's linked to John Key is running the scam bank and the Panama Papers <coughs> and just other papers that they've just got caught in. And he's given Hillary Clinton money out of 13 million, out of the funds of New Zealand taxpayers for her terrorist operation. They've gotten caught too. He's getting caught. We've got him first. We're taking him onto the stand first. We've built him in this jurisdiction of Admiralty Court, martial law, and can't get out of it. The case is on Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, here, 
to link that court case with Ma Morris's land here to seize the blocks. He's already done that. He's already put them back into an original state form as being nobody is in that title but him and his chief. Kori te kori. That's how it works in this King's Bench Court we're sitting up here today. The flag here is an open checkbook. That's what it is. If the British gave Bundy an open checkbook with the flag they're flying, he would be cashing up on it now. I'm suspecting that's what he's attempting to do. But these are Freemasons documents. Play with those, you play with fire. I know the enemy, I, uh, I, I don't know is the people playing around with these documents. The devil you know, then the devil you don't. The Freemasons was with Mohi Manukau for 50 years, stitching this up and leading you down the wrong path because you were not knowledgeable enough to know the whakapapa that was set up in Kaipara in the Awaroa Bank was to make money out of you. It was to make money and they made a lot of money out of it and they're still making money out of that time. We're seizing it. And all of it under this one single pound note. <coughs> See the whole lot. With King Ernest Augustus, the King of Britain, UK, right there, our partner. He's sitting there right there with Prince Caroline of Monarca on this pound note as 970 million trillion trillion pounds against every levy debtor or judgment debtor to him, judgment creditor and us, the partner to this king wearing the eight point star of our flag, him, no one, no Maoris claiming him, only us, the Paramount Chiefs and the Moriori Manukau is claiming him. No one else is claiming, Bundy and them are not claiming him. They're claiming the flag that has no bearing to them, but to us. Okay, so that's all I want to say with this video. I'm hoping that, uh, and there's John Key there, with a trillion pound right here on his head with the two chiefs, Hongi Hika and Tera Waikato Wharehere Manukau, 